How's it going gamers? My name is Rushcode and today we're going to be starting something new. I've been working on this thing for a while and some of you might recognize it. It is a very basic version of the Minecraft inventory system. You can pick up the sword, put it here, you can drag and drop things wherever you want, just like in Minecraft. You can also stack things. There's quite a bit going on here. It's it's a lot more complex than I expected it to be. And I'm going to be making a few videos on this. So in today's video, I'm just going to be making the interface, including how the mouse can light up different boxes as it hovers over it. And possibly, if time permits, also randomly populating the inventory with some items. First, I'm going to make a widget blueprint for the inventory. And now I'm going to create the inventory design and this next part will be a time lapse of designing the interface so here we go Okay, now that the interface is nearly done, the only thing left to do is put in the uh, the inventory boxes, right? A box for each place that you can hold an item. And to do that, I'll need to make another widget just for the boxes. So we'll call this inventory box. And once those are created, we can just put them into this uniform uniform grid over here, which will automatically arrange them in an even arrangement. And there we have it. Now I already do have some items ready to go here, which are, let's see, where I put them? Yeah, here we go. Some materials and and texture forms of some Minecraft items. And I'm gonna try to get them to spawn in here. This means I'll need to go into the graph section and make some variables. There's already a heap of variables here because every one of those inventory boxes is a variable. Uh, I can't really hide them so um, the only option would be to make a child class of this parent class that will hide these but I prefer to work inside this one so I just have to make a variable down here. This variable will contain every box so we'll call it all boxes. It'll be of the type inventory uh, box one specifically an array type and so when this widget is constructed we can go ahead and populate the all boxes variable with all of these boxes here that way we can call them whenever we need to just by using this one variable down here so i'm going to do some blueprinting to set it up and then hopefully we can get some textures to spawn from that Okay, so the uh, thing is done, I think. So here's the code for populating items randomly in the inventory space. I also wrote some code for, let's see, yeah, just removing an extra index, because I think I have an extra box in here, so I'm just gonna make sure that's gone. 
and also a way to update the box with an item which is done individually with each box and I have this special node or um, a variable that deals with all the types of items you can have so I made this ahead of time it houses all the source items here which is like coal melons or swords and it tells you a little bit about what type of item it is uh, which index it is how many you can stack together that sort of thing so I made that ahead of time and just pulling information from it to decide how it's going to look what kind of texture to use so if I play it here we go we have all the items spawning randomly now if I hover over it it should highlight the item uh, no that's not doing what I wanted to do hmm. instead I'm making the boxes disappear interesting <laughs> well I need to figure out what's going on there it seems like it is highlighting when I hover over it so that's good so if we go to where that's happening that's over here so as the mouse enters it will create oh I see okay so I have my highlighting border but I also need a border under that because without it then it's just empty so I'll need to make an extra one let's put that in the middle here make sure the color is right okay so that should work this will be on top of that so let's make sure the layer is over it now if we run it it should work okay but also my items are being hidden hmm. <laughs> so what's wrong there i need to change so the items are being hidden because they are underneath something or another the item image is the one that's going to be showing the item so I put this at layer 1 it will show there we go yeah if it's at layer 0 then it disappears so just make sure it's at layer 1 when we run this it should work okay so everything's there and great it works like a charm but I do want the highlighting to cover the melon and the sword and the coal a little bit so all I need to do is make sure the highlight takes the highest layer okay so there we go and oh that's no, that's a little strange. Um, well, it seems to work. It's good enough. <laughs> I think we'll just go with that for now. Is it working? So in the next video, we'll be looking at how to drag items into other locations. So thanks for watching, guys. And if you liked it, smash like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Rush Code out.